morning, hopesters. It's, uh, what is it now? It's, uh, yeah, 10 till 8. Hudson and I are heading out in about 20 minutes, so I gotta go get her out of bed and get her loaded up in her wheelchair and hooked up to her water and give her her meds and food, and then we were gonna roll out the door. All we're doing this morning is headed to her titration visit for her third titration of her VNS device. No big deal. We'll get in, we'll get out, we'll get back home, get her cleaned up, and then get her to school. It's Thursday, and she has half days on Thursdays, so she goes in the afternoon. Plenty of time. That's why we schedule these things on those days, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Dominic watching his iPad. He's fully dressed, ready to go, because Ashley got him ready, because Ashley's taking him to school today because I'll be gone. And Casey is getting ready for her day, too. So, uh, guess what? Alicia's not here. She's sick, so I don't know if she'll be back tomorrow either, which will make tomorrow a lot more interesting because it's gonna be a lot earlier morning. <laughs> You put your listen to some music for five minutes. Oh, let's not. You make me so happy, Hudson. Are you ready to go? We're gonna go get your get your VNS turned up, kiddo. Let's ready to get up? To some music. Huh? Did I get a good smile from you this morning, or what? Usually, I get smiley Can you mornings. Find my hand. Shh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Are you ready to go or what? Well, let's get you up. I know you're going to stretch. All right. Oh, you're slobbering over there, goofer. You're slobbery girl. Let me get a stretch. Reach for the sky. stretches. Get your knees up. Get your legs out. Stretch them out. Come on. Stretch it out. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, stretch it out. <laughs> a little further. Get your legs moving. Come on. That's good. All right. Ready to go? You ready to go? I don't think we're gonna change your shirt. Definitely gotta change back though. We got her loaded up. By the way, Casey took a test over the weekend. What was it, on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. It was an intensive class for three days and then the test was on the third day. It was a tough test and she took it like two other times. Three other times. Three other times. <laughs> Finally passed it. <laughs> so that one's in the clear. More accreditation for her job to make her better for her clients, right? Yeah. All right, feed this girl, we're gonna head out.
it's uh, it's really good that Casey is far enough along in her business and that Ashley is her assistant so that on mornings like this when Alicia has to call out sick we can get it done all together as a team I've got I've still got help hi did you want to peek your head over there and say hi that didn't put your Hensinger collar on did he <laughs> I still haven't got a smile from her this morning. She, some mornings I guess she's just grumpy, huh? But we've got plenty of time when we get back. Like I said, th this appointment is an 8.45 appointment. It's, it's 8.20 right now. We'll be done, we'll be back home probably by 9.30 or 9.45, and then she doesn't even get on the bus till 12.15. So I'll be able to get her a bath and dressed and plenty of time and then hopefully I can get an episode edited I kind of like do you want to film or do you want to edit that's that's why I, I don't think I can get daily edits done until the vlog is making enough that Casey can stay home <laughs> so that, so that so that there could be a, a, a shared duty on the house but it's not fair for Casey to have to do a bunch of housework when she has a more than full-time job like double the hours of a full-time job it's funny they say an entrepreneur will work 80 hours a week to avoid working 40. <laughs> it's always funny coming through security when we get in here by the way we're in the waiting room wow you gonna smile for the hopesters yet hmm they're doing their job because they don't know who's been here a billion times and who's not but it's uh, a whole bunch of instructions <laughs> He's like, uh, make sure you put this sticker on your shirt and not your jacket. Make sure that you know where you're going and, uh, you know, just just a bunch of questions like that. It's like, yes. So I usually answer, well, like today, I was like, hey, we're old hat. We come here all the time. <laughs> we know what we're doing, don't we? smiling for the last probably 15 or 20 minutes. Are you still smiling? A little bit, maybe. So you know we have our lift over here. Got out here to the valet, handed him the ticket to get the van. He says, well, you left me a bit of a challenge. I said, oh, how's that? He says, well, you, your front doors on your van were locked and so I had to crawl over that gate to get in your van. I was like, oh man, I'm sorry. Typically on one of these trips, I have somebody with me and I just unlocked the back door. There's two separate locks. And I just unlocked the back door because the lift is there. And I just get in with Hudson and then I come between these seats and get in. I usually unlock the front doors. I've got to let Alicia in or Casey in or... I didn't do that today. So I didn't even think about the front doors being locked. So I just, I laughed because he was kind of a heavier set guy. And he says he crawled over the gate to get in. And I'm thinking... This sliding door over here was unlocked. <laughs> you didn't try this one. Could have got in on this one. Anyway, he, he did. So, like I was saying earlier about the whole using my phone versus using a standalone camera, that was a phone call that came in. It was actually from the diaper supply company that we get Hudson's diapers through all of our insurance changed at the beginning of the year and so they were calling to find out the new new insurance companies so we have a primary and we have a secondary the primary is our insurance that we pay for Casey through Casey's work and and, and that's for the whole family and then the secondary is Hudson's Medicaid I had to give them the new information but of course that shut down the camera there wasn't much else to say we're on our way home and I'm gonna try to get some more filming done. Uh, right now I'm gonna try to get on the highway. I'm a little busy. We're good.
on. I uh, blow drying her hair and all the lights went out because I had her space heater going in there. It's, when you have that on and the hair dryer, it kicks the breaker. So well, the lights went off on us, didn't they? Had to run down to the breaker, turn it back on. It's just now noon. Her bus doesn't actually get here until more like 12, 15, 12, 20, but I still got to get her food together and her meds and so. Yeah, so you're ready to go. We we're ahead of the game, weren't we, Shugs? We're ahead of the game in your cute outfit. <laughs> so she has to have her med in the prescription bottle so that the nurse, I don't know, it's a rule. So med, she's got her syringe and her bolus. Oh, the phone's falling down. It's about time for a new tripod. That one's getting weak. I need to get one of those Gorilla Pod ones because the Gorilla Pod is stronger and sturdier, and of course that translates to more expensive. But I got a lot of stuff that we need to upgrade this vlog, kid. I got a lot of stuff we need to upgrade the vlog. And turn around here so the hopesters can see you over here hanging out, get your lunch together. So all of her food for the day in this container, but. They give her food at school, so we gotta give her, we transfer it over to one of these little containers. And then the rest that's left is for tonight. One of these freezer packs. And, and the crusher is in the, they have a crusher at school. I hope they have a crusher at school. They must have the crusher at school. I'm sure they have the crushers. But just in case, I'll send the old backup one. <laughs> I'm 99% sure they do, but just in case. What are you doing? Huh? Did you want to be on the vlog? Yeah? Did you want to be on the vlog? <laughs> I know, you smell Hudson's lunch, don't you? You smell her lunch. This is Hudson's new bag that her teacher got her for Christmas. I'm gonna put that in there and her back and forth notebook, which matches. <laughs> What's great about hoodies doing them backwards like this is on like windy and snowy days, we can just take the hood and put it right over like that. <laughs> Keeps the wind out of your face, doesn't it? We are good to go, Shugs. Now we just gotta watch for the bus. And I gotta hook Astrid up over here so that she can't get out the door. And I gotta get my coat. I gotta get my coat, okay. Is something that's liquid to you while you're alive. The death benefit. So that's her talking with a client. Um, doing her job. All right, I got Hudson water started. I was gonna start talking to you guys from down here, and darn it, I gotta go back upstairs. I gotta get gotta get my laptop so I can get all the details done so the episode can get out to you guys. Uh, because I'm gonna be hanging out down here with Hudson. I have not even had a chance to read her notebook yet. I just realized that I didn't have my vlogging stick, which I left in the garage, and it is very cold. So uh, I'm going to go get my laptop and her notebook, and then we're going to come back down here and hang out. Because Casey's got a couple of, like, one more big phone call. These things take, like, an hour each at least. She was smiling when she came in, but now you're going to take that nap like you do after school every day, aren't you? Aren't you? You going to get your nap in? You look sleepy, kid. You look sleepy. <laughs> Take all the legs. Take all the legs. Take your legs. Kick your feet. Kick your feet. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Casey's going to bed, by the way. Let me tell you good night. Night. Somebody doesn't want to be on the vlog right now. <laughs> I love you. Did some hanging out with Dominic and then just completely forgot that 
I was vlogging today. <laughs> so Casey and I were sitting down here, we were watching this show called Amazing Interiors. And I mean, we watched like two or three episodes of it. I don't know, whatever. We were just kind of bored hanging out. Once she finished her work for the day, and it's like 10.30. I'm actually gonna be going to bed here, hopefully. Hopefully. In fact, I'm not even using my vlogging stick right now. Hold on. So, I'm hoping to go to bed here very soon. If Miss Miss here, hello, she's sitting up in her chair. <laughs> Goofy Gus. If Miss Miss here doesn't throw a fit again. So, for the last two weeks, probably, Hudson Ann here has figured out when it's bedtime. And so, she's been throwing a bit of a fit. You're not going to throw a fit tonight, right? Because it's just daddy in the morning. No Alicia again tomorrow and it's an early morning. Are you tired? I'm tired too. <laughs> Maybe we can take you to bed right now. She's got her uh, vibrating elephant in behind her back and apparently she's very sleepy so I think I'm gonna get her in bed and then I'm going to go to bed here really soon I know I just yawned but if I lay down right now I will be a wide awake at 3 a.m. and then I won't be able to go back to sleep I know my schedule I have to be up till at least midnight in order to sleep to 7 in the morning so I can get up and get this girl all done and ready to go to school in the morning <laughs> she's totally asleep so uh, with that, definitely think it's time to shut the vlog down for the day. So uh, of course, like always, gonna remind you guys to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world. And we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye guys.